Worse than hell, that's how those who survived the massive typhoon that slammed into the Philippines this weekend describe what they're dealing with now. More than 10,000 people are feared dead, and officials say that number could rise. Hundreds of thousands are trying to pick up the pieces of what's left of their ravaged homes as they continue looking for loved ones. For Albuquerque's Filipino population, it's painful watching the news from afar. As News 13's Kayla Ayers reports, many are banding together to help out. The devastation in the central Philippines from Typhoon Haiyan is a world away to many New Mexicans. But this northeast Albuquerque church kept the country in their prayers this morning. A large number of parishioners here are Filipino, as is Deacon Leandro Centenera. He watched from afar as the typhoon tore through his birthplace, seawaters reportedly rising some 20 feet. The death toll is estimated in the thousands. There were four people who died, and then it became a hundred, and then a thousand just yesterday. But this morning when I woke up and I saw that they estimate, you know, like 10,000 people. So that's when I, I told my wife, I said, we've got to do something. Now Leandro is helping to organize donation opportunities through the church in Albuquerque for victims of the typhoon and a recent earthquake. This money that we collect will be properly uh, channeled to the uh, neediest of, of these people. Moments after mentioning that money gathered at the church's annual Filipino Christmas celebration will be directed toward the victims, the donations started coming in. Everything possible, and of course, we should not forget prayers. In Albuquerque, Kayla Ayers, KRQE News 13. Pope Francis today led tens of thousands in silent prayer for the victims of the typhoon that has ravaged the Philippines. Francis talked about the high death toll and the enormous damage. He also made a plea to hurry the international aid to those suffering from the effects of that storm. Red Cross chapters across the nation, including New Mexico's, has activated its family tracing services. Red Cross officials say if New Mexicans are unable to reach their loved ones by phone, you can call the American Red Cross to initiate a tracing case. For more information on that, you can head to our website, krqe.com, and click on news links.